This tutorial is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS Technology Student course. In this lesson, we will learn how to define variables, use variables to perform calculations, and delete variables. We can assign pronumerals to have numerical values on the TI Inspire. To do this, we press Menu, select Actions, and select Define. Let's say we want W to be equal to three. Once we have selected define, we then enter in W equal three and then press enter. Now, when we type in W, the letter is bold. That's because we have defined it. Once we press enter, we see that now three is the output. If we select another letter, say X, Notice how it is not bold. That's because we haven't defined it to be anything. Anything that is defined on the TI Inspire will appear bold. Another way we can define something on the TI Inspire is to use the assign command. Let's say we want L to be equal to four. So with this method, we can enter in our pronumeral L, then to enter in the assign command, we press control and then the template button underneath the delete button. This brings up the assign symbol. And then we enter in four and press enter. So now that when we type in L, it is now in bold and it'll appear as four. The third and final way to define something on the TI Inspire is use the store command. Let's say we want A to be equal to six. To use the store command, we type in our expression or our value, and then we press control bar to bring up the store arrow, and then select which pronumeral we like to store it as, in this case, A, and then press enter. So the TI Inspire reads this as six is being stored as A. So now when we type in A, again, it is in bold. And we see that A is equal to six. Let's say we would like to redefine W to be six. We can do this using any of the three methods we've seen so far. For example, we can use the assign command to assign W Be equal to six. And now when we type in W, we see that it is now appearing as six. To see everything that we have defined, we can press the var button on our handheld, which is short for variable. This displays a list of all of our defined objects. We can also use the TI Inspire to perform a substitution. Let's say we'd like to evaluate W times L times H. Again, notice that both W and L are in bold because they have been defined, whereas H has not been defined. So for us to perform a substitution, we can press control and then the equal button. And then we need to select the vertical line, which means given or such that. So here we can tell the TI Inspire that we want H to be equal to five. So the way the TI Inspire reads this is that we have W times L times H such that H is equal to five. We press enter and we see that we have six times four times five to give us 120. We can use any of three methods we've seen so far to define functions on the TI Inspire. For example, we'll define x squared plus one using the assign command. First, we type in our function notation, f brackets x and close brackets. 
And again, to enter in the assign command, we press control and the template button. And then we enter our expression x squared plus one. To perform a substitution using a function, we replace the input x with whatever we want. For example, if we wish to evaluate f at x equals three, we replace the x with a three and press enter. And there we see we have three squared plus one, which gives us 10. We can also substitute expressions into our defined function. For example, we could replace x with b plus one and press enter. And there the t inspire will replace x with b plus one. If we had made a mistake when defining something and wish to delete a variable, we need to press menu, select actions, and then select delete variable. Once we select delete variable, we then type in which variable we want to delete. For example, we may wish to delete W and then we'd press enter. If we want to delete multiple variables, we can put a comma in between each one. So in this case, we'll be deleting both W and L. So now when we type in W, we see that is no longer bold because that definition has been removed. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.